So I'm in the project right now. I've taken my Sterling by Music Man Stingray Ray 34 bass and converting that into a fretless bass. Pretty cool. I've never done anything like this before. I have been messing with the basses a bit and I watched uh, several YouTube videos on this of taking the frets off and then how people put the wood into the fret slots, sand them down and get them ready and then I'll be doing a cyanoacrylate CA glue finish. Hope that goes well. Worst case scenario you sand everything off but like most things I do I just dive in and try it. I tried to sell this base it didn't sell in a month I decided I'm gonna make a fretless base out of it. Woo buddy! It's kinda of fun. I have pulled two frets so far right here. You take a razor knife run it along the edge of the fret here break that surface tension help it come out a little easier and it works first I'm going to try to get a little lift on this fret so I'll go off to this end using my special fret puller I have this little tool I can slide under here so as I continue to pull it up it protects the neck oh well there that came Got a few crumbs out clean that out a bit this is what a fret looks like it has this part on the bottom here they call the tangs, which goes into the wood. Doing this on my Sterling Stingray Ray 34. Little morning coffee. Looking pretty nice outside today. That's me and Meg in Japan back in 1989 doing some gigs junkyard dog so now I'm just taking a piece of some 1500 grit sandpaper folded over and I'm just gonna run that through these little slots where the frets were. Just to open them up a bit, get the little bits, the shag nasties out of them. I'm gonna cut my fret fillers out of cherry. I'm gonna take my 9.5 radius sanding block and that will be to sand the neck. But I can mark my radius on a little piece of this cherry. Like that. Then I'll take my oh hello phone. And I'll take my knife and I'll just give that a cut. And that should be my radius to go down into the fret right there. Now I'll just trim this up a little bit. All right, we're getting the pieces of wood placed in. I went ahead and glued one and sanded it, but I'll be sanding this whole fretboard down, which will take a little bit of this gack out, hopefully. So these pieces are just sitting in there for now, but getting there. All right, time to spread a little glue. I'm just using Type Bond Premium Wood Glue, and I'm just pushing it down into the crack. All right, now I'll take my fret fill piece. Push that on down in there. That glue squeezing out right there. That's what I want to see. And then I'll just take a Q-tip. Give that a little wipe. Remember that's all going to get sanded. Let's take a little paper towel. Wipe that for now. And th that is about it. Just get it in there and let it dry. And now I'm just going to repeat that on up. Alright, now I'm taking my 
chisel that I sharpened up and you start taking off a little bit of this wood then I'll come back and get this other side I'll turn the neck around just to get that down to a sanding level a little bit of zen to it I like it so then we'll flip it over and that's the way you do it let's get it down a little bit and on and on Chis. Sharpened chisel. Just snip these little bits of wood off. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on and start spreading it. is what how people were spreading it when I was watching online all right first coat on I'm gonna kind of let that sit and this is going to take several coats sanding between coats and then buffing and then that will be that all right now I have moved to the medium CA it's going to start filling in the gaps and then I will sand it off. I'm going to put four more coats on here, sand off, and then I'll see where I've got high and low spots. But that's glistening nicely already. All right, now for some, some thin CA. Start getting these final coats on. I'm just rubbing that with a part of a t-shirt here. Get it on quickly, smooth as I can. See if I got anything dripped on the side. Get that off now. Starting to get there. And then I'll take my buffing wheel and some cleaner and some glaze, clean it up, put it back on the base. Now we're going to take some 600 grit paper, give it a little wet sand. And then put some more layers of glue on. Still trying to get the high and low spots. Give it a bit of a wipe. Now that gives me an idea of where I've still got some low spots where you can see the shiny bit of CA still in there. But getting there but it feels very smooth, feels really good. I'm gonna add a couple more coats, but that's probably about the eighth, the little sanding in between. Then when this is all done, I'm gonna replace the fret dots, get them on the frets, which is what I hear you do with a fretless base. A little different than a fretted. And if you look at other bases like my G&L here and we look at the neck you can see the fret dot is between the frets. And what I want with the fretless is the dot to be right on the fret. Because your finger kind of goes uh, slightly between the frets when you play on a fretted bass. 
So the dot is between the frets. Got my random orbital buffer tool here. All right, let's buff this up with a microfiber cloth now. Bring it to a high luster. Whoa, look at that. The more you buff, the shinier it gets. I am pretty excited about that. Wow. It's an already beautiful neck. I have gotten a few of the side dots put on now. So I take them a drill bit here and I put a little wheel collar from a control line plane on it. And that's going to make it so I can't drill too deep. So I'll go into those and they won't slip around because I made those holes. Go in easy. Don't want to go too deep, but I don't want to be short either. I'm going to take one of my little finger drills here, which is a little bit larger, and ream the hole a little bit wider, but not deeper. Again, I'm using that tight bond glue, just some wood glue. Get some down into these holes. Set one of these in there. Push this in with the punch a bit. Alright, I got my side dots installed. That'll be good enough for me to see as I play. And they are lined up with the fret. Pretty happy about that. Thank you. 